Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here with the Rona Project. Gonna be doing a vlog style video today. Um, just been a three day weekend for us, you know, Labor Day weekend and everything. So it's kind of got off to a short week. Tuesday is kind of like this week's Monday, or you know what I'm trying to say. And since I got off to a short week, or I'm gonna have a short week this week, I figured I'd get the camera out and post a video. It's been a couple weeks. Um, keep you guys updated and just talk about um, manga projects in general from the perspective of an independent creator. So let me see where I should uh, start here. First off, I I've noticed a lot of you guys, um, and I say a lot, uh, probably 250, maybe 300 of you guys out there are actually working towards your own manga project goals. I think this is great. I think this is awesome. Um, every time I hear about somebody working towards their own man manga project, um, and some people even say, you know, you've inspired me to work on my own manga project, uh, it makes me smile. I mean, um, I know how much fun I have working on manga, uh, working on our manga, and I can really understand uh, why people would want to work on their own manga. Um, it's an excellent uh, outlet um, for creativity. Uh, you can really just do whatever you want, and um, it's a lot of fun. And for you guys out there who are artistically gifted, uh, you know, you guys got the one up. Um, you guys are actually able to draw, and you know, in, in our particular case, we got three people who uh, work on manga, you know, collaborate and work on just one thing with Rona. Um, but today I wanted to talk about uh, independent, um, you know, the perception of independent creation, um, and also talk about um, <clears throat> quality for independent creators. And I really wanted to actually talk about um, this because the most flack that we actually catch is mostly from people who um, get on us about the time schedule and, and how fast you can get a book out and, and why isn't your book done and, and all these certain things. Well. Uh, as I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel here and the book's getting closer to completion, um, I look back and I have absolutely no regrets um, the way we've done this book. <clears throat> Every video, you know, you'll get some people that comment, oh, it's taking you forever, oh, it's do this, oh, you know. And all I can say to that is, yeah, I, I know. Um, <laughs> I think 99.9% .9 of uh, the people that watch these videos, um, that subscribe to this channel, um, are open-minded uh, honest and uh, just just full uh, you know wholehearted uh, strong people who just understand uh, what kind of work goes into making an independent project like this uh, understand that yeah we have gained a very very small amount of popularity on YouTube um, but that doesn't make us any different um, than for anybody out there who's working on their own manga project uh, we just happen to get noticed um, by just luck of the draw and by chance, you know, um, we've worked really hard and you know, we tried to make entertaining videos for you guys um, To just let you know what our manga is going to be like with the character descriptions or with the story description or whatever um, I wanted to make that entertaining. Um, I want the book to be entertaining And so uh, we you know, we try to put our best foot forward, but in terms of time that doesn't mean that we're any faster uh, than anybody else that's working on a manga out there or, or any better or or anything. Um, it just means that you know we can put together some decent videos and, and that's really about it. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen the artwork and things like that but the one thing I want to talk about um, is the people that are on this you know set time schedule where they feel like they have to um, what, you, what would you say uh, instead of it's quantity over quality I think that's right quantity over quality or quality over quantity people are wanting to get a book done quicker and who cares if it's not like the absolute best and the answer to me, uh, for Ryan, is um, <laughs> I care. I care uh, how good the quality is of my uh, manga. Um, so people could get mad and, you know, or we can lose subscribers. And, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's, I, I would love to everybody that has enjoyed our videos and, and, and the book's taken too long for them and they've decided to quit watching. I, you know, a part of me, it tears me inside to say, oh man, they're not going to stick around to the end, but that's okay. That's okay. Because I would rather them leave as opposed to me put out a crappier, uh, shittier uh, version of what I know I'm capable of so that they have something in their hands. Um, because really, the, the, this all, all this stuff, all these videos and everything before the book comes out, um, shouldn't speak on my work, you know? It shouldn't speak on my work. This, this, uh, what should speak on my work is after the book comes out. Um, that's the most important part, um, is the book, you know? Everything up here is just, um, hopefully, you know, we've given you guys some insight, but, uh, quantity is, is definitely, uh, 
that's almost to me almost irrelevant when you're talking about quality of your content. Uh, quality of your content, in my opinion, needs to be your absolute best. Um, because if you think you can just half-ass it and uh, you know put a book up and there you go, that's and it's going to be successful. Uh, I, I personally don't see it that way. I think that there's I think there's such good artists out there, such good stories. Um, it's a competitive field. I think a lot of people obviously want to do it, and in order to truly um, be one of the best, uh, you're going to have to put everything you've got into it, and that's the bottom line. Uh, there's just nothing else around that. That's 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 what it's going to take. Now, I, you know, I really don't. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not really talking to the majority of the subscribers that are probably watching this video right now. Uh, a lot of you guys, um, I actually think, understand that, and uh, that's why we've gotten uh, a lot more positive um, feedback as we have negative, um, in a sense. And don't get me wrong, we get our, our fair share of uh, uh, negative comments. You know, um, some people just like to knock people uh, just for general, and I'm not even going to go on a limb and say jealousy. I I actually think that some people um, just simply don't understand. Uh, what it's like to put a book together, um, you know, because uh, making a making a legitimate, real manga, you know, a, a one that looks like one that you you find in your Barnes and Noble or your Hastings, um, <clears throat> I don't think a lot of people have done it. Uh, a lot of people that I've spoken with, uh, Mark Frilly, obviously, uh, he's a guy who's been in the profession and and things like that. A guy who I have a, a ton of respect for. Um, He's, he's really the only one that I actually uh, know and have talked to on a, on a personal level about uh, that kind of stuff. Um, aside from that, nobody. I, I don't know anybody. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, you know, it's a step-by-step -step process. And um, people need to uh, recognize that a little bit more. Um, that this isn't, uh, isn't going to be a rush thing. And, and, and I want to break the mold uh, in the sense of, I think, most independents out there... Um, the reason people don't look at independence as often as they do this mainstream stuff and they don't realize the talent um, that's out there in the independent industry as opposed to the mainstream industry um, is because of lack uh, the, the quality of the work. You know, um, If you go out and, and you take uh, 20 independents and um, you take 20 professionals, I, I would almost guarantee the professionals' artwork, the professionals' uh, you know, ways is going to be more glamorous, maybe, uh, in a sense. You know, you got more people working on the project, so it's able to get done quicker, uh, and things like that. But um, all those guys, all those professionals, all those uh, you know, superstars of this industry, um, they had to get their start somewhere. And I'm hoping, in a way, um, or I'd like to think that they got their start the same way maybe we got ours, and that's just um, love and passion um, for their work. Uh, because, uh, and this is something Terrence said in, in, in a recent video of his, um, I should actually leave a link to that. I'll, I'll leave a link to his video in the description box below, so check it out. Um, <clears throat> you don't get into this field for money. That's just, that's the end of it. You don't get into this um, to be famous because it's it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen like that. You're not going to be uh, on the cover of GQ or anything like that. You know, um, maybe a small portion of people um, like your work and uh, respect your work. And and in our case, you know, I'm I'm more than satisfied uh, with what we have as an audience. You know, um, it's a boost. It it really is. It's uh, better than anything, and, and it's kept. It kept me, uh, Anthony, and Joseph um, motivated uh, when you have people behind your project and who believe in it. Um, that's the most important part. Uh, money is just, it's a second nature thing. I would like to make enough money to live a regular, normal life. That would be um, a miracle to be able to do something you love every single day and live a regular, normal life. Um, <clears throat> how, how much uh, another thing this, this is another thing that Terrence said in his video um, and, and his video did inspire this video quite a bit uh, because I feel like I can just I want to be able to do what I want to do on this channel um, this video may bore the crap out of people I can already tell it's 10 minutes long um, but for the true people out there independents out there um, who watch this kind of stuff I, I, I think that they'll actually uh, maybe uh, understand a little bit more of my perspective towards this industry uh, right now, for people that are the people that are into that, if you're if you're waiting for just the Rona book and you don't give crap about how to make the thing or you're not interested in what I have to say, I totally understand. Um, I go out there and I and I have videos that I watch just purely for entertainment. 
uh, not to learn how they do it or not to learn whatever. So I understand, and that's cool. Um, I don't have, I haven't made a second channel. I don't really feel like making a second channel. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't post enough videos on it or whatever. So this channel is just a blah, Rona Project, Ryan, Anthony, Joseph, just, uh, just us, you know, just in general. Um, you know, you're gonna get everything on here. But uh, another thing that Terrence talked about, uh, let me get back to my point, um, was artistic integrity. Um, maintaining your artistic, uh, uh, your creative integrity. How about that? Um, although, in my opinion, you know, writing, music, art, all these are, are forms of art. Uh, but keeping your integrity throughout that, and um, that's important to me, you know? Uh, a lot of people out there who are starting their own projects or pitching ideas or, or whatever are willing to bend and, and, you know, let other people persuade their story or persuade their idea uh, into doing something else that may be more fit for mainstream. Uh, fuck that. Straight up. Fuck that. I, 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 that's not me. That's not me. I, this is something that's uh, more personal than that. Uh, it's more personal than that. Um, I'm not doing this to, uh, this, Rona's not made for Disney. Um, it's, it's not. Disney does great stuff. I, I, especially some of their, like, new 3D stuff. It's actually very cool. Um, very neat. It's very, uh, wholeheartedly, uh, just, just, it's good, you know. It's something, if I had kids, I'd take my kids to watch that stuff. I think it's really cool. Uh, Miyazaki stuff, you know, that stuff, uh, for the most part, um, you know, it's, it's pretty tame. It, it doesn't have a lot of, you know, graphic, uh, crazy stuff, you know. I, I want that stuff in mind, and, and I'm not willing to change uh, the way it's done, you know. And, and, and it doesn't bother me if Rona doesn't get a jillion people following it because I'm not willing to mold uh, my story to appeal to that many people. I, I'm making the story um, primarily uh, for us, you know. This is something that... Um, I feel passionate about. Uh, people want to do things in their lives. Not not always do you want to do something for somebody else. Sometimes you want to do things uh, for yourself, you know. And in our particular case, in general, um, you know, we have a lot to do this book for now. Um, with Anthony passing back in April, you know, uh, there isn't anybody out there that wants to get this thing done um, while maintaining that creative integrity, while maintaining. Um, what the foundation of Rona was built on. Uh, what we've what we've done thus far is um, take our time, do quality work, and I guarantee this. I can guarantee you this that this book will be a, it will be a quality book in the sense of uh, we we are taking our time, and we are going to make this book the best it can be. Period. We're going to make it the best it can be. I, I uh, there's there is. Uh, just a deep, just passion inside me um, that is absolutely determined to make this the best book it can. And I know that in the future, um, I, I want to always look back at this book and know that I put in 110% every single time I sat down and did something on it. Um, I, I want to have other people check it out, close family, relatives, and things like that. Um, I want them to go through it. I, I want, I want, really anybody, in a sense, to kind of uh, you know, you know, pick around at it and look at it. I, I want it to be battle tested and and um, everything. You know, I want it to be the best book it can, and I'm, I'm not willing to give up anything for that. And there may be like, out of the total people that you know watch our videos and stuff, there may be a hundred people. Um, that are, you know, kind of really, when's that book going to get done? Come on, you guys are taking forever, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, in all honesty, I'm just ignoring that. I'm just ignoring that. It, I'm not really worried about um, 100 people who are 200 people that are, are dying to have it right now or else, or else they're going to unsubscribe or else they're going to whatever, you know. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't scare me. I, I know that um, the majority, I, I, like I said, 99, I, at least 95% of the people who watch um, the videos on this channel uh, don't care. And, and most of the time, uh, when somebody says something, they just jump right all over. I'm like, you don't know, blah, 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 you know? And uh, it's always pretty funny. I don't condone that, you know? Don't, uh, you know, if there's haters, if there's true on haters on this channel, uh, let me tell you what I do. Um, I just ignore it. I just flat out just ignore it. Um, if it's a rude comment and they keep throwing them out, I'll just block their channel, you know? Uh, and if they, will, if they have the time and patience to go back and make another YouTube channel just to keep doing it, I guess I just keep blocking it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. This video has gone on way too long. 
Um, but I thought it was kind of important for me just to say something uh, about this kind of stuff. I'm, I'm feeling passionate about it uh, right now. Uh, we are getting close. I'm still uh, working on the bubbling and the uh, sound effects right now. Um, you know, we're trying to actually get to a point where this thing is bound. Um, we're getting our ISBN number uh, as we speak. And um, everything's just going, it's wrapping up and it's going according to plan right now. Uh, and that's really about it. Uh, we're working our ass off and getting a lot, a lot of stuff done. So um, we're going to keep putting our nose to the grindstone. I might be doing more videos like this because they're simple. I can sit down. It doesn't take any editing. It doesn't, or very little editing um, and anything like that. But I'm able to still keep you guys, you know, somewhat updated. So, uh, man, this is a just long ass video uh for you guys that made it all the way to the end holy crap uh you guys are badass uh, i guess that's it for now um we will catch you next time see you around Haters go spit, they kneel, but they leave him with the void. They sop to fill it gone, and the heart palpitates as the soul deflates. It's all it ever takes. Then you have them pumping the brakes. R O N A's about to give you plenty. Every video's like a birthday present day. Spitting fat lines without a beat.